This is Tetris. And this is Tetris Effect, a trippy new version of the classic Russian puzzler that transforms it into an audio-visual feast. It's the brainchild of Tetsuya Mizuguchi, the mind behind the stylish music games Luminous and Res Infinite. Anyone who's played Tetris knows how easy it is to zone out and totally disconnect with the world around you. Tetris Effect makes this idea the focus of the experience. And it is an experience, one that stays with you long after you've played. And that's why Tetris Effect is the perfect name for it. If you watch the announcement trailer for the game, you heard the narrator mention this. One of the first formal studies of the phenomenon was at Harvard Medical School in the year 2000. It was talking about a study where the majority of participants dreamed of... Blocks. They all saw blocks. This narration is dramatic, but it's describing a real and fascinating study that looked at how dreams help us retain memories. A study into what's called the Tetris Effect. If you repeatedly devote a considerable amount of time to an activity, you start seeing elements of that activity in your thought processes and dreams. Here's Professor Robert Stickgold, the guy who conducted the Harvard study, explaining it to the host of the podcast, Radio Lab. When you go to bed at night, you lie down in bed, and you see Tetris pieces falling down in front sure. of your eyes. Sure? Oh yeah. You knew that? Oh, absolutely. Your eyeballs. The scientists in the study were looking for hypnagogic imagery, the strange, lucid dreams we have right before falling asleep. And that's exactly what they found. After playing a ton of Tetris, more than 60% of the study's participants saw falling blocks during this liminal phase of sleep. Which isn't news to the millions of people who played Tetris, but it did surprise Bob. I got a cover of a science magazine because I discovered that and everybody already knew it. <laughs> but the most incredible result from the study is highlighted in the trailer. Amnesiacs, or people who couldn't form long-term memories, dreamed the same images. These participants were unable to recall having ever played the game, but their descriptions matched those of players with perfect memories. So it wasn't just about memories. It had to be a different system in the brain, one that handled newly learned information and cataloged what the mind had focused on that day. The Tetris effect happens when something completely consumes your attention, and the game takes advantage of this. Misaguchi's goal wasn't to change what Tetris is at its core, it was to enhance it. Tetris effect is a dynamic experience where the music and background actually transform as you play, something Misaguchi frequently incorporates in his game. It's a subtle but effective way to command the player's attention. Without even realizing it, you start laying down your tetrominoes right along to the beat. Which is how Tetris Effect the game takes after the Tetris Effect phenomenon. It wants to be the most engrossing, immersive version of Tetris ever. So every feature was designed to get you into the zone. The catchy score hypnotizes you, the psychedelic visuals overwhelm you, and the PSVR support literally encompasses you. There's even a new feature called the Zone Meter. Fill it up by clearing enough lines, and it gives you the power to slow down time. Tetris Effect is an experience. It's a head rush whenever a new scene bursts onto the screen, full of spinning flowers or neon dolphins or a shimmering aurora. And the PSVR mode is nothing short of transcendent. And look, 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 I know that sounds corny, but I literally want to live in Tetris Effect. So if there are any other scientists out there who are thinking about doing a repeat study, I volunteer. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, why not give our channel a subscribe and check out some of our other cool stuff. And if you like Tetris, you should not miss the Tetris Effect announcement trailer. It's literally one of the most beautiful video game trailers I've ever seen.